Hello, my people. Welcome back. Let's listen to Uche Mefo, <laughs> the ex deputy of uh, Biafra. <laughs> the ex, let's listen to there's a video just dropped today, and uh, he is saying a lot and a lot, a lot. Me, I don't blame the man. No. You know, say now because of that thing, that criminal in Finland is the reason why them just abandon this man the pain <laughs> they abandon him or the pain because up to now they not tell us problem they not tell us the problem where we say he make uche for resign they not tell us but now it's obvious that everything is clear but uche for next time when you enter this organization your organization you need to you need to be strong spiritual you we are not spiritual that's why somebody like a uh, 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 and uh, those uh, his guns on social media kicked you out as long as i'm concerned now my eye open that is what transpired before they want to remove this one and replace him to that thief thank god the ipop leadership they are very wise enough to discover what is the games that they are about to play them stop it very very quick how can you uh, put a, a dictator in radio biafra how can you involve yourself with a dictator god forbid from fire back to fire so my people, let's listen to me for now. Everything is clear. Say now because of that thief, they remove me for made them for replace them. But thanks to IPOP leadership, they are very wise by not to take that thief. That's a very man. Thank God. Say they no take him. God, I thank you. I, I I glorify your holy name for for the kind of leadership they were there for IPOP. If you not be so by now, hey. They for jail, they for don't because the other way that thing in Finland for the give now, they for don't throw them, they for don't jail them. The other way that waiting for the happen, if you say they put them for radio Biafra, waiting for the happen for Biafra land now, if for the Finland one place they drink in Kai Kai, they give order, they for use that reason. So, oh, you there for radio Biafra is a member of Biafra for that reason. The only thing we save Biafra people say that guy not member of IPOP and is not on radio Biafra. No, let the thing where we say we're not supposed to the tango today by now. If we don't, they give all that kill, shoot for that reason. They will hold that one, use that to jam as another camera. May God Almighty be praised. Listen to Uche for this is the former deputy of Biafra, indigenous people of Biafra. So because of that criminal that came to show them like critters, all critters is gold, and most of them fall. They frustrated this man, no? Hey, for a comment session, they will say one way they come frustrate me with their comment, but I know wrong. I stand guilty because I, 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 I prepare. Which I before they didn't get, he is not prepared. Those comments, they prepare him. Um, you see me? How many years now did they come here rubbish from my platform? Those the one why where hand reach me to block a block. These are the same people. Where sit down inside one room, they press computer, they press, they do yahoo yahoo. They are the same people waiting for this Biafra struggle. By their comments, you identify them. 2023. Woto woto. So right. listen and Good stay blessed. Dear fans. Once again, my name is Uche Mefo. I am reaching you from London. Hmm. Um, I just want to speak once again on one or two issues of uh, importance to what we are doing you see there are a lot of lies blackmail a lot of uh, propaganda a lot of state managed uh, from different people you want face time on face time on <laughs> because now be the thing where do not do you project. Now you do you within gas. No be mad, not do you anything. Now you do you. Now you know, you know, you know, prepare. This kind of thing that they prepare, you don't know. The <laughs> the 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 brigandage, the criminality, the need to go to school and graduate. The kidnappings, name mm -hmm. them, going mm -hmm. on as we speak in Ibo land. Where, as a result of the footprints and inspiration, of Nam the Kano and his criminal gangs in the Ipon Kai POV ESN unknown government. If we want to solve a problem, we must have to call that problem by its name. And that is what we are trying to do here now. Myself, which I'm for have been involved, has been involved in their first struggle. And I cannot run away from the actions I've taken in the past. 
whether good or bad. So the beginning of the healing of our land comes with everybody coming forward and saying what they know about the issue of Biafra. Because a lot of atrocities are being committed as we speak. Today, you see Ipong IPOB ES on a non government going about making videos, stage managing videos, telling you that they are non peacemakers. They have turned emergency peace advocates. They have turned emergency human rights crusaders and advocates for progress, good governance, and you know, all whatnot. But we know that these people are hypocrites themselves because they have been responsible for all the atrocities, all the carnage, all the brigandage, everything going on in Igbo land as we speak today. So there is no escaping it. The perpetrators of these heinous crimes have their roots in Iponkai POB. And so let no one deceive you about all these things that are happening. It is not the foreigners that came to Igbo land or to any part of Biafra land to commit all these atrocities. The atrocities had its inspiration from within, committed from within and not from outside. That is the truth that everybody wants to be associated with, whether they like it or not. I mean, this is the truth everybody would and must be associated with. The moment we begin to tell ourselves the truth, that is the beginning of healing. I am not running away. I will take responsibility for anything that happened under my watch and which I'm responsible for when I was with IPOB, when IPOB was IPOB. And I expect every other person to take responsibility. Unfortunately, you can see what is going on now. The hypocrites that we warned ahead of time to desist from their criminal activities. I mean the hypocrites from Iponka POB, inspired by the Supreme Lion Nam the Canon. They did not want to listen to anyone. Rather they blackmailed, they lied and you know, smear, you know, run smear, smear campaign, campaign of calumny against, you know, some people who were standing against their evil plots and conducts. Today, they are the people making videos telling you that, oh, ESN is there to save people. ESN is there to bring back POS uh, equipment and money stolen by criminals. But these are one and the same people. They kill, they kidnap, they maim, they steal, and they turn around to do videos to tell you that, oh, ESN is doing this, ESN is uh, uh, protecting everyone. These are liars. You know what? Security is a huge lucrative business. And that is what these guys have been doing. Their stranglehold or stronghold is where you have mineral resources and where you have heavy flow of Thanks. finances. They have divided themselves into hmm. uh, franchised criminal gangs. You have their leaders Anybody that goes to oppression and it, it, appear, it appears to them that they've made success, they will be careful. And so, you can't for me because you can't. And you questions. want face time on face time on <laughs> because nine be the thing where do nine do you? Nine and do you within gangs, not be mad, not do you anything. Nine do you now, you know, you know, you know, prepare this kind of thing that they prepare. You don't know. <laughs> 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 
freedom of movement. Need to go to school and graduate. Uh, restricted our people mm. from going to hey. moving freely in Ibo land. They have, at the same time, violated the right to life of our people, the right to peaceful assembly and of association, the right to freedom of movement, you know, the right to privacy, the right to freedom of conscience. These are the things that are happening before our eyes. They were deliberately doing all these things. They have kidnapped, they have beheaded, they have slaughtered our people. Igbo brothers and sisters for that matter. But they are now coming out today to deny that they are not responsible. So if you are not responsible, is it me? And so many other people that are telling you people to stop that are responsible. That is a very big question, begging for answer. And now let me say the last one here. Simon, no matter what he says, no matter what he does, remains part and parcel of Iponkai POV because now they can recruit them. And now, whatever he is doing, we boomerang at the end of the day. He is not fighting for Biafra just like other criminal gangs that he was associated with in Iponkai POB before. They are not fighting for Biafra. They are into criminality. Simon Eyebai is chasing clouds. Simon Eyebai is... You know, he is more interested in making name. Simon is going nowhere. He shall continue to go around in circles. But it is also unacceptable that the criminal gangs in Aponkai POB, led by China Samu and Chike, Duzim and all that, all that in the not fit for purpose DOS. So, you know, heap the whole blame on Simon Eber. It is unacceptable because they are part and parcel of the whole horror and terror and criminality going on in Igbo land as we speak today. So they're going nowhere in that aspect. And so, going back to Simon Eber, Simon has no capacity, capability, to carry out what he is doing. However, you know that anybody that comes out and lends him or herself or themselves to violence, violent utterances, there are also people willing over there to carry out such instructions and all that. Some of them are enemies, some of them are, you know, part and parcel of the criminal gang from within. And so, it's just a matter of time. Criminality will not have its hold over our people, over our land. In time to come, all those responsible will pay. You know, they will be held accountable at the appropriate time. So let me just be specific here. Simon Eber has no capacity to bring Biafra, as he's saying it. Biafra is not coming in 2023, yes. not even in 2024. Simon <laughs> has no capacity to stop election in Biafra land, unless if he is working for PDP or APC politicians. Maybe that is what is gudging him up. Hmm. But they are going nowhere. You, care for me for you, you, can you can intimidate you won't voters. Face yes, face that's that's fine. <laughs> because because nine be the thing where do nine do you by some politicians. Nine do you within gangs. No be mass not do you anything. Nine do you now you know you know but you know prepare. This kind thing that they prepare, you don't know. 
for you need to go to school and graduate to stop another evil man mm -hmm. from vying for the office of the presidency of Nigeria, of the office of the president of Nigeria. In this case, we have uh, Mr. Pitobi. We have uh, the other um, Abga candidates. Our people should support them. Instead of backing away from the democratic process, you need to embrace it. Because backing away means giving the Nigerian state and their corrupt politicians the ammunition to continue to do what they are doing. They have capitalized on the fact that some of our people are, you know, they, they have... Uh, they have given in to voter party. They have given in to, you know, look more warm attitudes towards voting. They have decided not to be voting. Therefore, the corrupt politicians and some criminal gangs are now having a field day. This time around, our people must go closer to the ballot boxes. Vote. If you don't win, continue to try. So, it's either Simon Heber is chasing clout, which he has been doing for quite some time, or that he is heavily being sponsored and is a willing tool in the hands of politicians, and especially APC and PDP politicians. But you know what? In the end, in fullness of time, each and every one of us will be responsible for our actions, will be held accountable. And so, stand on the side of truth, defend it jealously, because that is the future for our society. Thank you once again. My name is Peter Mefo.